Um, I am also a member of the pastor search team, and so I am going to give you an update on what we've been doing there. Um, as hopefully you've heard, um, our purpose of the pastor search team is to find the most qualified and compatible senior pastor to lead our church. In order to be as prepared as we can be for searching and vetting candidates, we have been focusing thus far on two main items. Uh, the first is training, communicating, and interacting as a team to focus our individual and collective skills. Our effectiveness in this area will be realized when we are actually interviewing candidates. And any time you participate in a team interview, it is important to share vision and trust with your team. Uh, to that end, we've also had one practice interview with Dave Jenkins, our senior pastor now, and we have another one scheduled with another senior pastor next week. And some of you may be thinking, okay, why are they doing practice interviews? Didn't all of you get selected because you have some experience in interviewing? And the answer is yes. And actually in my professional career um, before uh, I had kids, um, I did a lot of team interviewing. That's pretty much how we did things. But I knew my team, and I knew the job really well, and I knew what we, exactly what we were looking for, and I knew how my team would respond in certain, in certain ways. And these practice interviews are actually helping us as a search team do those same things, to learn to work together and to focus in on where we need to improve. The second area we been, have been working on is preparing the criteria <laughs> that define the position and define the qualities and character traits a potential candidate needs in order to be considered for the senior pastor of Trinity Church. And although this may also seem like a straightforward thing to do, it takes work to get this right. And it is the foundational structure that we can now build on. A few of the main things we're looking for are a strong, godly, visionary leader that can, take, that can lead this church, lead the staff, and implement our vision. We also want a strong teacher who will provide sound biblical teaching and preaching in keeping with the strong heritage we have here at Trinity. And we also want a man who is authentic, who has humility, integrity, and compassion. The full list of requirements and qualifi qualifications is, is quite intimidating. We are asking a lot of, the poten of any potential candidate for our next pastor. But we also feel that this church is rich with opportunities for the right person. The search team strives to represent you and the congregation as a whole. If you ever have a question or want to give a comment, please share it with any of us individually, or you are welcome to submit a question via the email alias searchteam at trinityonline.org. And that same email alias is linked from the pastor search page on the Trinity website. <clears throat> I know I speak for all of the search team when I say that we are honored and humbled to serve you in this important task of finding our next senior pastor. We truly value your prayers and your encouragement. We please pray for our church, for our team, for discernment, and that the Lord will lead us to the right person. So let's pray now. Dear Father God, we thank you that you are our forever God. We are grateful that you are holy and strong and also full of grace and love. And as we think about the next senior pastor for our church, we pray that you would relieve us of our anxiety and fill us with your hope. Please guide us in every step of the way. We pray for the church, we pray for trust and discernment, and we pray that you would lead us to the man you have already selected for this task. Also, as we enter into the Christmas season, we pray that, you would keep our, that we would keep our eyes focused on you that we would represent you well in our words and actions, and that we would be light to those around us, especially those that don't know you. I thank you for the opportunity we have to provide a roof and a floor to our dear neighbors in Mexico through the Loft House program. And I also pray that each here would be led to give to Advent Conspiracy, that we might demonstrate your gospel in a real way through one of these opportunities. Thank you, Lord, for all the people gathered here and for your amazing blessings and gifts to us. In Jesus' name, amen.